Thanks for joining me. If you ever feel disconnected, like you're watching your life from someone else's perspective, if you feel numb to joy or sadness, or if you experience sudden intense eruptions of anger or stress, not knowing where they come from, this practice could begin the process of healing these difficulties. Interoception is the ability to be in tune with internal states. These include bodily sensations and emotional changes. Interoception is crucial for being able to respond to and nav navigate difficult emotions. Trauma leaves our inter interoceptive abilities weakened. Practice this meditation daily, incorporating it into little breaks or when you notice sharp increases in stress. Research has shown this type of meditation boosts immune functioning. It reduces depression, anger, and chronic pain, and decreases the stress hormone cortisol. Okay, so to begin, just close your eyes, or if you feel more comfortable with them open, just find a spot to focus on. This could be a favorite picture or painting, or you can simply gaze down in front of you. First, notice your breath. What does it feel like? Is it slow or fast, difficult or easy? Just notice. Do not try to change it. Just notice its pattern. Bring your attention to how your stomach rises on the inhale and recedes on the exhale. Stay engaged in this focused breathing for a few moments. Now move your attention to your body. Focus on the areas requesting your attention. Certain areas may request your attention through discomfort or tension. Where are you feeling tension or soreness or any sort of discomfort? Tension can sometimes be held in the neck or perhaps there is a tightness in your stomach. Now begin to notice where maybe you're feeling loose and relaxed. Maybe your legs or arms feel limber. Maybe you recently stretched and are feeling loose and, and pretty good. Whatever you feel, do your best not to label with a judgment of desirable or undesirable. Undir it is simply how you are feeling in this moment. Next, shift your awareness to your emotions. If you had to describe your emotional state, how would you label it? Just start simple. Is it joyful, fearful, sad, angry, happy? It could be that you're experiencing a mix of emotions. See if you can identif identify any of the more subtler emotions. See if you can make the description more complex. Amused or eager, indifferent, insecure or hurt. Now, is there a specific place in your body you feel these emotions? Maybe you feel anxiety as your stomach tensing, a gripping in your chest. It could be you hold a bundle of stress in your neck and shoulders. Maybe sadness shows up as a feeling of tiredness.
Now, if you've noticed more prominent emotions versus some of the more subtler emotions, notice the varying intensity of each of them. What dominates and what is in the background? Again, don't judge. It's not good or bad. It is just how you feel in this moment. Now we move on to your thoughts. Imagine each thought as a train. Visualize these trains coming into your awareness, traveling through your mind and flowing out, exiting. Be mindful of your attempts to change, stop, or even board the trains. Simply watch the trains come in and go out. If you have found you boarded one of the trains, feel good about this awareness and simply get off the train and again resume watching these trains flow into, through, and out of your mind. As you continue watching the thought trains, Expand your awareness to your current bodily sensations or emotions that accompany the thought train. Certain thoughts create a ripple effect through physical and emotional sensations. Make the connections between these as best you can. When you're ready, slowly and gently open your eyes and re-enter the room.